Ricardo Santos. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. Got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with the same height and a similar reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 18 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Leonardo! Santos! And now introducing his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Chong. Okay, protect yourself at all time will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your own. is there with the left. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes or top. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. 
out of range with that one. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Big body kick lane. And both guys really throwing with authority. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Swing and a miss by Santos. Punches blocked. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Under two minutes to go in the round. Nice stick to the right hand. Hook is there again. Good right hand. Santos' lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Right on the button. Some nice back and forth action here. Seconds winding down in the opening round. Nice stick with the right hand. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it by getting hit over and over in the face. Oh, big punch land. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. Of they talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counting as we go forward. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. That punch no good. Beautiful body kick land right under the L. Oh! All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. Oh, he got a good too. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Looked like it did stop a little bit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. For certain, the finish could come at any time. Straight right hand now just misses. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Yeah, man, 
crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 38 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing.